Hi, my name is Joseph Kim and I would like to show you how to make a curved bench on SketchUp using uh, solid tools. Make sure you have these set of toolbars in your SketchUp. Um, if you don't see it, uh, you can go to uh, View Toolbars and then um, you should have it uh, enabled and checked here. Uh, if you are using a uh, SketchUp 8 version, uh, the tool sets are a little bit different, but right now I'm demonstrating with uh, 2013. So uh, it should say Solid Tools, and if I check it, it will show on, on the toolbar. So right now I have it nested here. So this is uh, my template. Uh, it's a one foot by one foot cube. Um, I just have it here so that I can see a scale of model that I'm bringing in. Um, if you want, uh, you can just leave it as uh, a person standing here, the default uh, SketchUp template that is entirely fine. Uh, file, import, and I'm just gonna bring in this CAD file that I have generated. It's a bench file. So if I bring in uh, this file, I'm just trying to see uh, in comparison to this cube. Um, if it's uh, scaled correctly. If that's not the case, uh, when you're importing it, please make sure you click on options um, and make sure you put in the correct units. So, uh, in my case, it was fine because I previously have done this already. Um, so, I'm just going to remove this cube. You can remove your person as well. And what you will notice is that it's missing faces and actually it has been brought in as a group. So select one, any of these lines and we'll select it for you and right click on top of it and explode. And uh, what I would like to do is create faces on it. Um, if you actually have a plugin called Make Faces, you can select everything and tools and make faces. And if it's curved, uh, if there's a lot of curve um, and you bring in from CAD, sometimes they're not joint here uh, in, in these instances and it may not create faces. And so you might have to clean it up uh, in order to use this type of method. So right now, you know, one way to make faces is actually just to create a line on top of it and it should create faces. So I'm just going to slash it like that and take eraser tool to erase it line tool um, it's L for short and eraser tool is E for short so just remove all of this so I have all these faces and uh, these sort of dots are my endpoints I have them enabled but uh, we can turn them off by going window uh, styles and edit and make sure you click this box here I'm just going to uncheck the endpoint so that it looks much cleaner. So uh, right now it's looking uh, more smooth. And I'm going to triple click this in order to select everything that is touching um, and then group it. Make group. Triple click this and make that a group. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually try to extend this up because this is an elevation, this is a plan. So what I'm going to do here is select this move tool you can either select this or M for short so I'm just gonna grab this and then try to use a reference point in my case here is here so uh, after that I'm gonna take rotation tool it's Q for short or you can click this as well and from this point um, it's a three, po three point click system so the first click in the, instead of click you're gonna drag it really so I'm gonna hold down my mouse and then just kinda drag it to axis that I wanna take it to so in my case it's here so I let go that was one click and the second click is the point that I wanna bring up so it will just generally be this face here this uh, green face so I'm just gonna cl click green axis here and then there was a second click and then the third click will be my final destination which is 90 degree angle here so it will kind of snap on it so I'm just going to click here as well so now it's standing up 
and that's how you uh, prepare. Now that it's prepared, I'm just going to extrude this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go into this group and because it's divided into three different sections here, I'm just going to group them first. So double click this in order to select all the edges in the face and then group it. And also here, group here and group. Uh, for me, um, I have a shortcut of G as a group. So group, group, there's three different group here. And same thing here, double click here and go in and then double click group, group, group. So there's three groups in here and three groups here. And uh, I would like to keep this as a reference. So I'm just going to actually select all of this, uh, take a move tool, um, toggle on control, and then move it and yeah, move it five feet this way so I know in reference to this it's five feet away here um, and uh, what I'm gonna do is first go in here and double click on one of the group and P for push pull or you can click this icon here and then you can extrude that and I, it has to actually clear this distance here so I'm just gonna Mm, three feet will do. So three feet and go in here double click this and also bring out three feet. You can type in three feet and also this leg here as well. So three feet. So I have pulled it all three feet there and then this one I'm just gonna bring it up. Uh, it has to clear so five feet. I think five feet will do and in here as well bring it up five feet or just hover around the, the one of the face here and we'll just have it five feet and I'm gonna get to the tip uh, in order to get to that you can either look from bottom or you can actually hide this for the time being and double click this and bring it up and you go here and unhide so how oh, that's showing. Uh, what I would like to do is uh, demonstrate how to use this intersect tool. Um, what you're going to do is uh, I'm going to grab uh, these two and explode that. So they're all total of six groups in here. The small one, the, uh, the inner, one, inner, inner piece, outer piece, and the leg, and the leg outer piece, inner piece. So I'm just going to grab inner pieces first. So that and hold down shift and click this. And then I'm going to press uh, something called intersect. Intersect is sort of two groups and resulting what's joining together. Uh, it's much like math. but um, So you click this and then it'll result I'm just going to bring it out here, five feet out so it will result something looking close to this. So uh, wherever um, that uh, those two inner pie pieces had it together, that has the form has shown there. Uh, so the outer one here, I click this and that the same procedure intersect, and then it'll show a form like this, and then I can bring that out five feet, and it will just be in place like that and now I have to form a leg and if I just put a leg like this it's just gonna look awkward and that's not what I intended to do so I'm gonna show you how to do that so the reference that I left here I can just bring it over uh, move and toggle on copy by control and then move it here five feet and then I'm just going to remove this uh, and hide this for now. And then go in here. There's uh, three groups here. Um, actually, I can select everything and explode them so they're no longer a group inside. And then actually double click uh, the smaller inner one and then make that as a group. 
for now and then delete it and actually uh, if you go here um, you can yeah you can see uh, these edges and I need to delete it so and go eraser tool and just clean that up and that's now one uh, single outer edge here um, just pull that out five feet and then unhide my previous leg and then select two and then intersect now that has formed correctly and let's test that out move it over five feet so now that's correctly positioned uh, what I want to do is I actually have this face here removed because theoretically this is a half of a chair and we're going to mirror the other half and the face here wouldn't exist so go in here like that and also this here so um, first of all I'm just going to select everything make that as a component so that will be either chair or bench in this case so that's my bench and move it over um, maybe three feet and then I'm gonna have to flick along green so now it's facing each other I just have to correctly position that so I'm just gonna grab the very corner and then match it right here now um, only things that we need to do is just put the material and uh, correct these lines here uh, first of all you don't want to see these uh, lines and what we're, we're gonna do is actually go in here double click it select all by control A and then actually soften and smooth edges this will actually take away all of the uh, lines and soften it out uh, you can increase the number uh, it may look kind of weird as you increase too much so I would like to stay below maybe 30 so I'll just say 20 here uh, but I don't want to see a center seam here so what I'm gonna do is actually change the camera view to parallel projection and then go in here uh, and go into the inner piece and then just look at actually let's just hide this piece here and look at the, so the side like that or you can actually click one of the views um, in this case it would actually be you can actually look at it from the top right and then inner piece and then you can just grab it grab the very inner there and that would actually grab all the edges here and then I can just go to edit hide it. Uh, same procedure with uh, the outer one here. So I'm just going to look at it like that and actually just run that, hide it. I'm not removing it, I'm hiding it. If I remove it, it actually exposes um, the... Uh, it actually may remove one of the faces as well, so I'm not going to do that. So let's just try to grab that. selected as well so it's not then hide it yeah this one here hide it so yeah and unhide all and then I I'm just gonna select both of them and make that as a component, so it will be bench um, finished. Actually, we have uh, one more step to do. Uh, you can put uh, color or different type of material on here. So you can take the paint bucket B for short. Um, if you wanted a red chair, uh, we can put red. But I want the inner portion be different texture from the outer frame so maybe the outer frame will be something um, let's put something a little more bold so go in here select the outer edge 
and then make it a green and then maybe you know inner side has a little softer uh, color um, maybe light like gray so go in here a uh, gray uh, yeah. so this color here let's make sure you have it on all the sides and the leg I imagine it to be green so I'll just put that as green so uh, there's your chair and that's how you use the solid tools in SketchUp to create a curvature curved bench